Hi everybody! Today's a slightly different video because it's time to change our strings. It's been a long time coming, they're super old. So, Larson strings, oops, this way, they were kind enough to send me these strings, so we're gonna try out and I'm gonna teach you how to properly put your strings on the cello without it sliding. So, stay tuned. Step one, we're gonna unwind the strings one at a time. Do not unwind them all at once because then your bridge can collapse and also the sound pulls and you don't want that. So we're gonna do it one at a time. First, we're going to unwind the A string and just change the A string. Now we're gonna take out the Larson A string. Beautiful packaging. Let's open up here in the back. Ooh, how nice. Open this up. Oh. So now you see this part right here, right? So what you want to do is hook it to the bottom of the cello, like so, hook it up. And then we put it on where the train track is, and then we put it on right here on the bridge, and go like this. So what you do is put this string through the hole. <laughs> D string. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Now when you're tuning, never face yourself if the string pops. It's gonna hit your face, so face the other way. I don't tend to change all four strings at once, especially when I have a performance is coming up. So what I do is I do the top two and let that settle, and then I wait a while and just change the G string, wait a while and change the C string. Because that allows the cello to settle. If you change all four strings at once, and then if you have to perform, it can make the cello go really wonky. Also, it can get out of tune in a performance. So that's just what I do. Just. I'm noticing that it responds very quickly. I review so far right away. It responds very quickly, has a very nice sound. So I really like it. This is Larson Strings Medium. And it's this kind, because I know there's different kinds. So I'll come back with another video with changing the G and the C string. Make sure you stay tuned. See you next time.